Monad from Greek monas monas, singularity, in turn from monos monos, alone, refers in cosmogony to the supreme being, divinity, or the totality of all things. The concept was reportedly conceived by the Pythagoreans and may refer variously to a single source acting alone, or to an indivisible origin, or to both. The concept was later adopted by other philosophers, such as Leibniz, who referred to the monad as an elementary particle. It had a geometric counterpart, which was debated and discussed contemporaneously by the same groups of people. Historical background According to Hippolytus, the worldview was inspired by the Pythagoreans, who called the first thing that came into existence the monad which begat bore, the dyad from the Greek word for two, which begat the numbers, which begat the point, begetting lines or finiteness, etc. It meant divinity, the first being, or the totality of all beings, referring in cosmogony creation theories variously to source acting alone and or an indivisible origin and equivalent comparators. Pythagorean and Platonic philosophers like Plotinus and Porphyry condemned Gnosticism see Neoplatonism and Gnosticism for their treatment of the monad. Topic. Pythagorean concept For the Pythagoreans, the generation of number series was related to objects of geometry as well as cosmogony. According to Diogenes Laertius, from the monad evolved the dyad, from it numbers, from numbers, points, then lines, two-dimensional entities, three-dimensional entities, bodies, culminating in the four elements earth, water, fire and air, from which the rest of our world is built up. Topic. Modern philosophy The term monad was later adopted from Greek philosophy by Giordano Bruno, Leibniz monadology, John Dee, and others. Topic. See also Henology Iamblichus Chalcedensis Leucippus Monism Monad Gnosticism Monadology Dyad Triad Tetrad Topic Notes Topic References Hemingway, Priya. Divine Proportion, Phi in Art, Nature, and Science. Sterling Publishing Company Inc., 2005, p. 56. ISBN 1-4027-3522-7 Sandywell, Barry. Presocratic Reflexivity, The Construction of Philosophical Discourse c. 600–450 BC. Routledge, 1996.